Hello Leo, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Channel. This is your girl TM and I'm back with another reading. I'm going to do your May 2020 general love reading. Any planets you have in your Leo, if this reading resonates with you, this is for you. This is not an astrology, but I'm using astrological signs for basic astrology. What is happening, what, you, what your focus will be. Whatever astrology you follow, Western, Vedic, Sidereal. Okay, if this reading resonates with you, this is for you. I'm a tarot reader, intuitive and psychic. I'm not an astrologer. So you can, uh, if you believe in astrology, definitely, you can find out astrologers. Professional, definitely. I'm a tarot reader. So I will definitely read the cards and tell you intuitively what is happening. So if it resonates, this is for you. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. You can also come to me for personal if you want it. Check out the description for all the prizes and detail. Let's find out. Whoa, here you go. You have here by yourself. Okay, so you could be dealing with Pisces. Uh, okay, I have to take this. We have the ninth house and we have the fifth house. Okay, someone has fifth house, the sun in the fifth house. Or someone has sun in the twelfth house or sun in the ninth house. Okay, someone has sun in their Leo Someone has sun in their Sagittarius or someone has sun in their Pisces. You could be dealing with them or this could be your energy. Now, these cards pop up, so I will take it. So this is the sun energy, the, the you. The more focused will be you, your spirituality, your healing. This is you, mm -mm, everything about you. And we have the fifth house. This is like you're more creative this month. Uh, you will be more romantic. You will be more um, creative, artistic. What I, I don't know what you're doing. This could be healing. This could be with your divine masculine. Some of you, if you're already dating, are you married? Uh, we have the 12th house. Wow. 12th house for me is like you, you could be dealing with someone who is foreigner. And you could be, you know, dating with them. You could be talking with them. You could be texting. You could be falling in love. 9th house also is a long journey, long relationship. This is long distance relationship. You're falling in love. Are you already in relationship with someone who is on long distance? But this is like a romantic love, dating. You're officially dating someone. Or you're officially coming together. Or you're officially meeting your divine masculine in this month. Wow. You're ready for love if you're single. With this, for the fifth house, you're really looking for dating. You could be opening, uh, you know, going on to dating apps. You know, talking with people's. This is like a date. You're open to date. But this is also more likely spirituality, some of you. Really focusing on your spiritual healing, working on yourself, meditation, artistic way or something. The 12th house also talk about that. You're feeling overwhelmed because um, a lot of energies are surrounding you, you know, spiritually and emotionally and, you know, physically, mentally, healing, meditation, soul healing, emotional healing. This could be also children. Some of you definitely trying to be happy with your children. If you're a single mom or dad, I feel that you will be more focused on your, um, you know, being creative and being artistic with your children at home. But this could be definitely something like long journey. Someone definitely is far from you. We have the free yourself. It's time to back control of your life. Yes, you are doing it. We have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, some of you, you're falling in love. Are you having this crush? Are romantic feelings for someone? You want to date someone? We have the sun here. There's something. Someone could be in a popular public eye. Are you are in a public eye that you are dealing with? Obviously, you will be. Someone who has a very spiritual person that you're connecting with. We are forgiving and learning in reverse. So yeah, some of you, this could be your past. This could be your past. You're trying to release your past. Patterns. This will be your focus for the month of May. St some of you, you still can't forget, for forgive or forget person who hurt you. Yeah. Some of you, you can't. For others of you, I told you, like, this is like a falling in love, meeting someone new. This is that for those people. Express your love. Falling in love. This is for those people, for yourself. If you're looking for something, they're telling you right now, it's, it's like, wait for the right time, right moment. 
free yourself from these all worries and try to heal yourself try to move on from the past toxic past we have this clock number 42 so you could be 42 years old or you could be dealing with someone the clock timing working for you we have this number 28 man holding a rose told you this could be you or this could be someone looking at you someone is falling in love or you it could be romantic feelings falling in love crushing on someone dating apps dating online someone who's a foreigner someone who's far from you someone has a different spirituality belief culture religion and this could be already that you're dealing with number 15 the bear yes i feel that they're telling you that it's time to move on it's time to found new foundations it's time to be some of you you could be the you have children with this person that's why you can't forget or uh, forgive the um, parent of your child yes this is like you are the mother of a child or father of a child especially mother if you're a mother of a child you can't forget the person who hurt you who um who did not take the responsibility of you and your kids if you're going through this situation so it's like you're having a difficult time to forgive and forget this person you're definitely having a struggle but if it's not the case, this could be someone from your past who hurt you, um, you know, who did not give you uh, something serious that you are looking for. Now check up you versus them. I pick up two sides, so whatever your side is, please take what resonates with you. How you are feeling toward them or how they are feeling toward you in the month of May. What's going on between you and this person? strength this is you look at this this is definitely your side because you are here could be dealing with another leo or aquarius we have the star reverse yeah you're really being patient you're really um holding your desires holding your fe uh, feelings because the star reverse also talk about here that your wish is not coming true you're you're also in being impatient for something King of Pentacles, oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, yeah. Some of you, you're really working hard on your money, your career, you know, your focus on your business right now. Some of you, you really want to be, you want to get married or you want to be in a relationship. This is like holding your feelings, desires, you know, not telling the other person. But you could be ready right now for settle down, as I told. The story was, this could be talking about, like, this is not the right time or perfect timing. Uh, you could be wishing to be with someone, but they, they could be far from you. That's why the distance between you and this person is too much far that you can't make things right between you and this person, to be honest. Then we have the moon reverse. We could be Cancer. Someone has moon in Aquarius or Leo that you're dealing with or you have. So we have the moon reverse, yes. Trying to heal yourself. Release negativity. Opening up. I told you, look at this. It's like you're being more positive here. You're really positive about this person. This could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Especially it's solid earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or Aquarius like this is who you really want to marry with them you see them as your masculine even though if you're a you could be a feminine you are a feminine right you're a feminine or masculine whatever you see them as your divine counterpart you see them this potential to be with them but you see that this is not the right time to be together or something is not your wish is not coming true right now the moon reverse you're trying to heal and cleanse your emotions feelings let's see what's more here are the, this could be you you want this person like really you want to express it you want to express your feelings but you're at the same time you're holding back very strongly like you're you're not you don't want to show them that you're weak something like that we have the ace of cups reverse here yeah there's no new beginning here you're still <sighs> this is like cleaning the past healing your past but at the same time, being impatient, your wish is not coming true and you're frustrated and holding your desire, your anger, your passion. And you could be putting this all passion and whatever you are doing towards your work with this King of Pentacles. You want to be stable. You want to show this person that you're stable. You're not, you're, you're not weak. 
you don't need them but you need them i feel here emotionally you're not showing them let's see their energy so yeah you this could be your energy or this could be there just take what resonates with you four of pentacles they're holding back their feelings they're not also not letting you go four of swords yeah two four double four you could be seeing it they could have an age of number 44 there's something with the four four here born on to four april or something they could be aries two of swords yeah they're confused they're on the crossroad they are healing they're resting they're not communicating with you uh, and that's why you're not seeing that they're coming to express this love to you are giving you some love offer we have this four of pentacles um so definitely i feel here with this uh four of pentacles like they're holding back their feelings they could be working on themselves right now like their career and everything let's see seven of pentacles verse here they feel like you don't you're not waiting for them whoever this person is they feel like you're not waiting for them you're not waiting for them are you moved on without them five of wands yeah they're really conflicted about you and about this connection there could be other people's involved between you and this person like really or this person if this person is really popular or in a public eye or they could be really good looking or something whatever they could have a lot of suitors and that's why the fight but this is more likely i feel the fight and argument between you and this person and they're also conflicted about themselves yeah eight of pentacles you guys here so it could be a earth sign definitely they're, they're really confused that why you're not together why things are not working in your favor and why you are not working together they feel like you're not interested in them anymore you don't want to work with them you you moved on or you're not interested in, in them any man anymore and you're also not putting the effort in them because you have seven of your pentacles and eight of pentacles right it's came up reverse they feel like you're not you they feel like to be honest like you are creating the drama with this five of wands like why you why why you want drama why you why we why you we, why we can't be together this is what this person is saying this is that person energy like they're saying that you're not interested in them anymore you moved on without them so they're holding back and they're they're not expressing it because they feel they want to see what if you are interested in them they're seeing you as a king of pentacles like you are you're not you don't care about them but at the same time you have feelings but at the same time you're holding back your feelings too it's like you're mirroring each other i hope it makes sense Let's see what is the mutual energies for the month of May between you and this person. Uh, Knight of Cups. Ooh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You both have romantic feelings, but you're both holding your emotions. That's what I'm picking up, mutual energies. You both have this romantic love, but at the same time, this is like a dark and deep love. It's, it's, it's like a secret love. You're not revealing to it. You are saying this, this person should come and express it, and this person is saying they have, you have to come, but they have to come. So let's see what is the challenge here. The Queen of Wands, okay, Leo energy, so yeah. Fire sign could be your twin flame. I'm seeing this one, one on her throne. Look at this, this one, this one. So, yes, this is a challenge here. Someone's the the Queen of Wands is, is as a challenge here is talking about that someone is really like very dominant, very controlling. And they want the things in their own way. They're not compromising. They're not understanding the other person. But I really want to get clearance of this. That what is this challenge about? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Let's you look at this. Like starting new. Something solid. Compromise. Be practical. Be logical. This is Ace of Pentacles. This is a challenge. Starting a new beginning. Offering something serious. If, the, if you're a female, female energy, feminine energy, this could be you. This is a challenge from your side. Like, um, you really want something serious with this person. But at the same time, you need to compromise if you need a prize with this person. Because I feel that romantic feelings, you both have this romantic and, you know, dreamy and fantasy about each other. And you're missing each other. You're feeling for each other. They're holding back. You're holding back. You're, you're mirroring each other. You feel They feel like you don't care about them. You moved on from, from them. You don't need them anymore. But they're on the crossroad. 
at the same time you are trying to heal yourself you don't want to be uh, in your emotions because you're really frustrated and you are dis holding back your feelings and you want to be more into your um, when I show this person like you're okay you're focused on your business or work whatever the challenge here is definitely starting something new solid leaving everything behind and starting a new cycle with this um, with this authentic genuine energy giving each other space and time and not controlling let's see some of you this could be a challenge like you if you're dealing with a lot of people or multiple people or you have a choices talking about that the challenge here is that to choose something solid not only just dating and flirting and fling because you will attract drama again in your life so be careful if you're dealing with multiple peoples or you know it will not allow you the serious thing so we have those led by love will never lose their way this is your true love you are on the edge of something beautiful don't give up now love will find its way so yes so don't i feel that allow the situation to unfold naturally don't give up on love and uh, this is your true love so yes you could be soulmates or twin flame but allow the situation to heal each other give each other space and compromising and don't give up let love love will find its way they will come love will come towards you they uh, love will find you this person will find you okay so yeah that's your reading i really hope it resonated give the thumbs up subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video bye god bless you all